S. Clay Wilson is one of the boldest and baddest artists who ever lived. His visions of mayhem, deviancy, dismemberment, and sheer levels of obscenity are unsurpassed. Yeah, I don't know if I've gone further than any other artist. You know, I don't know. I mean, even thus far, I'm just saying I'm doing my version of it. I don't know. I think every artist does, you know, has his own take on it. I don't think there's anything new under the sun. It's like just a, re a reconfiguration of stuff, you know. Wilson was one of the founders of Zap Comics, which changed the medium forever. Comics this raw and explicit had never seen print before. After the underground movement ended, he found new audiences in punk zines, foreign publications, and girly magazines. He also worked for many art collectors over the years who commissioned him to do hundreds of pen and ink drawings, watercolors, and paintings. You know, it's my job, period, you know. Publish your parish, deadlines your bedlines, you know. Shit or get off the pot, you know. If you want to join, if you want to be out in the real gutter, quit fucking drawing. It's what separates me from the ape. Blah, 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 blah. So there's, like, there's an angel on one shoulder and devil on the other, you know. One's condemning, one's condoning, you know. So which voice do you listen to? That's enough to make you schizophrenic, right? <laughs> his work is peopled with perverts of every stripe, starting with his favorite character, the checkered demon. Other regulars, like Captain Pissgums, Ruby the Dyke, and Star-Eyed Stella, arose from somewhere in his inner landscape. Of course you're all the characters you draw. I mean, you know, I hear their voice before I draw them, you know. So the characters are different facets, of course, of my personality or accumulated opinion of who I am or whatever, you know. That's based upon real life, too. People, you know, that I know that, that have certain traits that lend themselves to cartoon characters, you know. Action. Get your own girl. Hey! Wilson made his way onto MTV in 1984, appearing in an art break spot on the cable network. Naturally, it was taped at his favorite watering hole, Dick's Bar. Top it up. Nice move, Joe. Suddenly a pirate girl appears. Hey! The checker demon also checks her out and competes with his creator for her charm. Hey! Unfortunately, Wilson, who wrote some of the best pirate dialogue ever, was cast with a monosyllabic pirate wench. Let's drop anchor here a while. In the end, the demon gets the girl. Zap comics lasted longer than most of the counterculture. Every few years a new issue came out, which was always cause for celebrations. When they released Zap 12 at the Psychedelic Solution in New York City in 1989, a slew of people showed up for the opening, and the art sold out before the show even closed I think this stuff will become more important. I think history will sort it out and give it its proper place, you know, primarily by the fact of how it's influenced people's thought and artwork, other artists. Mm -hmm. I think that's the crux. Nothing than that will make it historical or pivotal by the influence it's had, you know, or the innovations it's created or, you know, or the inspirations cause or whatever. So history marches plodding along, you know, here in Rotting Zombieville, you know, on the edges, you know, before the world flips out and spins out of control, if we live long enough to figure out what all this shit means, you know. Behind the bluster, Wilson himself was actually sensitive and shy. He thought of me. Only his close friends knew his true nature. Pirates in the Heartland, the first volume in The Mythology of S. Clay Wilson, reveals the man behind the public persona and follows his career as he develops into one of the 20th century's most influential artists. It contains a lifelong retrospective of both his published and private work, as well as many personal mementos of his long and eventful life. Volumes 2 and 3 of The Mythology of S. Clay Wilson will be published by Fantagraphics Books in 2015 and 2016.